All right, everybody, my next guest is about to enter his seventh season as a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Here he is as Astronaut Jones. For centuries, we have longed for the day that your people would arrive on our fair planet. Yeah. We have much to share with your culture. That's cool. And you as well right. can learn much from our mm -hmm. wise ones. One day, right. Earth creatures right. and Jupiterians mm -hmm. will live in peace and right. harmony. That's sweet. And that by sharing and, and learning from each other, we that. can form a beautiful right. new universe. Oh, man. What say you to oh. this, Earthling? I say, you three ladies hike up those dresses and bend over and let me slap those fat asses. Please welcome Tracy Morgan. Nice of you to drop by. No doubt. That they was jamming that Curtis, jamming. Curtis Mayfield. That's that was stuff. jamming. Yeah. Can I can I hear just a little bit of it? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, if, I, if it wasn't comedy, I would have been a bass player. I love bass players. <laughs> There's bass. still time for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't believe that it spends seven seasons for you on, 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 on Saturday Night Live. Because I, I very clearly remember when you when you arrived at, at the cast. It, like, flew by, man. Yeah. Do you, do you remember how you reacted when you found out that you were going to get this job, the Saturday Night Live job? Oh, man, that was crazy. I went right back. As soon as they told me, I went right back to the projects and told, like, my boy Supreme. I was like, yo, I got Saturday Night Live. And they was like, what? <laughs> we made it! <laughs> like, we? <laughs> He's, like, calling his mother out the window. Ma! Mom, Tracy got Saturday Night Live! Trey, my mom said, pick up a couch. <laughs> <laughs> now, do your friends then now, do they come to the show a lot? Are they there a lot? Oh, man. I, I saw you last season. You came to one of... You remember when I was at the table? I had, like, 75 right. years worth of penitentiary time around me. Yeah? <laughs> so they come down and they hang out with me. But I don't. I try not to invite people to the, to the parties no more because then they invite their friends and their friends invite their friends and... Like, they just come to the parties and sit at the table and order drinks and all this food, and it's like, my bill is like $1,800, and I only have four Heinekens, you know? <laughs> so it's like you're taking care of all these other people. Oh, yeah, the whole projects. <laughs> Miss Mary, Elliot, and them, everybody come down. They be waiting for me outside of 30 Rock, scaring white people. <laughs> And I have to tell him, stop coming down here. Stop. This is my job. Uh -huh. It's still my job. It's entertainment, but it's still my job. I mean, I don't come to their job with 40s and blunts and stuff. Right. <laughs> doing that? Right. Some black people, I mean, some black people think it's their job to scare white folk. <laughs> it's their job, you know? Now, well, how did they respond when you said, you can't do this anymore, this is my job? How did your friends respond? I, especially Supreme, he was mad. Because you know? I told him, you know, my boy Supreme, I was like, you can't, keep, you can't come down here no more. Don't come down here no more. You know, this is my job. Do I come to your job? And he looked at me and said, what job? <laughs> this is our job, coming to see you, because we made it. <laughs> we laughing at your jokes way before Norman Michaels and them. <laughs> I remember we used to perform in a Chinese restaurant. We was there. We made it. <laughs> all of us. We've yeah. all made it. Yeah. That's a nice attitude in a way. Mm -hmm. Not for you, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you, are, you are all over the Internet right now. Uh, not for this phrase that you coined in a prank phone call. And I don't know if I'm saying it right. Badonkadonk butt. The Badonkadonk. Right? Yeah. You were doing a prank phone call and uh, pretending to, to play, say, uh, a personal ad, and you, you used this phrase. You wanted that in the personal ad. Mm -hmm. What does that phrase mean? What is a badonkadonk butt? Oh, the badonkadonk is, uh, it describes all the ladies that have the nice, juicy ass. <laughs> all the ladies with the nice, juicy ass. You see, like, when, when they walk, one cheek goes up and it comes down, it's badonkadonk. <laughs> Why did she go up and it comes down? But talk a dog. But talk a dog. But talk a dog. There's a lot going on that there. But talk a dog, a dog, a dog. And they know it too. They know it. Yeah. Did this phrase just come into your head? Oh, just... Bless the thong. 
Don't talk, don't talk. You're jiggling, baby. Now, you got to copyright this because people are using this everywhere. And, you know, I pass like the interns in, the, in our office and they're all, you know, listening to it. And it's yeah, like, it's and they great. all have the, I've seen them, they all have the Badaka Yeah, dolls, well, <laughs> I'm not allowed to notice. Now, uh, <laughs> were you always into uh, pranks? I mean, do you like making prank phone calls? Is this the kind of thing that you grew up doing? Conan, I grew up in the projects. You don't make prank calls. My mom's would whoop my ass. <laughs> Uh, we don't have money to be paying for no prank calls, so, nah. I got the I got older, I got on Saturday Night Live, now we make prank calls. Now you do. You got some money now, you make the prank calls. Mm -hmm. Only on the cellular phone, my wife don't play that. Oh, really? Yeah. You gotta walk around the block and do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You are a big fan of hip-hop music, but I, I've, I've heard, I don't know if it's true, that you're a little disenchanted, you're not too happy with where hip-hop's going right now. Yeah, man, too many, like, model chicks in the videos now, and the Moet and the, and the model chicks, and it's like, it's like promoting a lifestyle that don't even exist, you know? It's like, um, like, the, like a lot of the young ladies out there now, it's like, forget school, we just want to sit in a whirlpool with a fat rapper and drink Moet. <laughs> You get an education. You get the education, you know? Right. But that's, that's a young guy's game right there. You know, hip-hop is for young. Like, my brother, he's, like, uh, 41 years old, and he's still trying to be, like, a rapper. <laughs> I said, go behind the scenes now, dude. <laughs> What's he rapping you about at 41? Like, I'll... lower back pain, you know? <laughs> What's he talking about? you got to draw from your life. <laughs> That's a young guy's game right yeah. there, man. I mean, they getting younger and younger, like Bow Wow and right. Little Romeo. I mean, you, I'm telling you, sooner or later you're going to find out, you're going to hear about a, a, one of them babies, like a brand newborn baby <laughs> with a black pamper. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming to the studio. Yeah, I'm about to get circumcised in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. Give me a break. Yeah. Uh, all right, Tracy Morgan, One Mic. This is your special. Yep. Airs next Monday night, 10 o'clock on Comedy Central. So watch that. And Saturday Night Live with host John Goodman, musical guest Ja Rule, I guess, is this Saturday. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tracy, thanks so much for coming by. Hey, Great to have you. Hilarious. Tracy Morgan. We'll be right back. The Strokes.